Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Sugaden 2. Last time, what... Oh, we finished recruiting all 108 Stars of Destiny. We've decided that it's time to go attack the, the Knightdom of Matilda and teach them a lesson for joining up with Highland, basically. Even though they didn't really join them, they, they pretty much became their bitch, if anything. Anyway, we sent Kiba off to go distract them, so now it's time to make our attack plans. Lord Ryu, preparations are proceeding. First, we'll go through Green Hill and then to Matilda. Uh, let's do it. Let's go to claim our victory. Let's get them. Yeah. Yeah, bitch, yeah. We got this. Do we have to... Oh, we do have to do an army battle. For some reason, I felt like it was just automatic attack. Forgot about the army battle. Matilda's just ahead. Mm. Ow, that voice hurts because my nose is sunburned. <laughs> If Klaus is go or if the enemy is going to show up, this would be the place. If Klaus is going to show up, totally can read. Oh yeah, here we go, baby. Just as I thought, Leon Silverberg isn't here. Yeah, he's busy fighting Kiba. So it was a decoy. Troops encircled them and attack. If we can rout the G Force army here, we've as good as one. All right. Wait, hold on. Aha, there they are. It looks like they're out in full force. Mobilize and crush them like the vermin they are. Advance and encircle the enemy. I got that. Five minutes now, and you'll be rewarded handsomely. I don't remember what voice I used for him before, but it needed to sound like a big fat guy. We wait. There's no music for this battle. Are you shitting me right now? Oh, no music. You're killing me. Well, anyway, this is pretty much the. F I mean, it's not the final battle in the game, but it might as well be because this is the final battle that matters in the game. And by that I mean, like, of course you have to win, no shit. But by that I just mean, like, if you win this battle, Highland is fucked. If you lose this battle, you'd be fucked. Simple as that. Anyway, the Matilda Knights are probably the least scary part of this equation. Even though it looks like we're surrounded technically, I'm not worried about these Matilda Knights, not in the slightest. I think Max, Gilbert, and Ada up here will handle themselves just swimmingly. Can they... Can I hit him with magic from here? Lightning magic. Does that only hit one unit? I guess it does. Let's save it for Gerudo's unit then. In which case, let's just bust these fools with some with some archery. Come on. Damn it. It's alright. This is probably going to be a long drawn out battle. I didn't even think about this, but this battle might take the entire episode. I kind of forgot that this is what we were going to do today. I, f I honestly forgot that this was going to be an army, like a, a major battle. I, I was literally expecting... Uh, straight up attack on Matilda Nightdom, which is what we're doing. Oh my god. Kasumi lost to the shitty archers? Are you kidding me? Kasumi, you're killing me. You're killing yourself. That was just sad. Alright, let's get Ridley in there to protect her from getting jumped and see if he can take... Oh! Say goodnight to the bad guy. I should have just attacked Uber. I knew it. Hopefully Uber doesn't kill Kasumi immediately. I certainly hope not. Anyway... Oh, well, the more units we get rid of, the better. Oh, and you'll probably notice quickly, we have a new unit on the field. It's Magus. Or Mazus, I mean. Magus. It's Mazus, who actually is another magic unit. Awesome, right? Big reason why you want to have all 108 stars at this point. By the way, if you did not get all 108 stars, if I didn't stress this enough at the end of last episode, make sure you have them before you're even doing this battle. If you're doing this battle and you don't have all 108 stars, well... You might want to hope that you have an old save to pick, bring back up because you're going to need it. Unless you don't care if you get all 108 stars, in which case, play on, players. Play on. I believe if you defeat Uber's unit in this battle, he just runs away like a little bitch. But we can confirm that when it actually happens. I'll uh, we'll just move him closer. And we'll move Flick one step closer to the edge. And I'm about to break. And that's good for me. So hopefully they don't kill Kasumi right now. That's my only worry right at the moment. Because archer units are at a premium in this kind of battle. You want them to be able to attack the harder units to to damage like every turn. So you got to take out all the grunt units as quickly as possible. I don't know if I've ever really explained like the best way to do these battles, have I? Like, you literally want to take out all the grunts. Preferably archers and magic users, which in this battle there's no magic guys, so you don't have to worry about that. But yeah, if you can, take out all the archery units so they can't just bomb on any unit on your team. And then after that, take out any grunt units that aren't the the 
the captains, the, the generals, I guess the generals is the right word for it, kill all the generals, i.e. in this battle it would be like Uber and Garidito Burrito up there, or Seed, get rid of Seed's unit, that's a good one to get rid of, and then, yeah, you get the point though, right? I think I explained it well enough. That's, that's kind of the basic strategy in these battles if I have never actually explained it. You know what, let's go, ah, uh, do I have to get Kasumi out of the way? I guess I do. I guess I do. Oh well. Let's just go for Uber. Must. Get rid of Uber. Yeah. If I don't think you have to defeat Uber's unit. I think if you put one sword in him, he'll run away. You don't have to defeat him. And ah, Come on, Flick. Why can't you move two spaces? It's alright. We're going to rely heavily on Ridley's unit. Ridley's unit is probably the most badass besides George's unit, in my opinion. And if, it, if I had it my way, I would have gave George um, the cavalry thing so he could do cavalry attacks. So he could be on a horse, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Anyway, Gilbert, kill him. Damn it, Gilbert. Come on, Gilbert. Alright, Ada, you can just attack the one nearest you. That's fine. I'm going to save my magic, the lightning magic from Gene for Garudo Burrito. Garudo Burrito. Fat-ass motherfucker, I guess that's the best way to describe him, right? I think every time we've had scenes with Garudo, I've given him a different voice. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> And just saying the name Gerudo reminds me of Ocarina of Time all day. Um, let's try to finish off the closer one first. Kill him, Magus. Kill him. Having two magic units is almost overpowered, if you ask me. Especially one like Magus. Magus is amazing. He doesn't even have any extra units on him to help him be stronger, which is even more crazy. Alright. Uh, huh, which way do I, what, what do I do with the rest of this here? Uh, let's move Victor up a spot so we can attack these guys. Oh man, Victor, you're crazy. You're crazy, Victor. Victor's totally redeeming himself for all the shittiness he's had in these random battles for me. Or, major battles for me. And we'll have Hauser go ahead and attack these guys. Which didn't yield much, but that's okay. And we'll have Ridley attack the same guys. Oh, come on, Riddles. Come on, Riddles. Riddles, come on. Riddles. Attack! Wind magic ho! Damn it. One horsey at a time. Let's get Teresa up in here. Can she... She can use that bombard move. I wonder if we can use this to get rid of... I really want to use this on Uber. If we can get rid of Uber, I'll be a little bit... I'll feel a little bit better about my current predicament. And nope. Just one horsey. And we'll get Ryu another step up in this. Give Kogan's army the signal. And don't forget, Kogan wasn't here, but now he is. All troops attack, divide and slaughter. Surround all you want, bitch. But we're going to take these bitches out so fast that Kogan's unit ain't going to be scary. Kogan's probably the weakest out of all of them anyways. Kogan and C, they're pretty weak. Yeah, Hauser, you're too good. You're too good with your the whites of his eyes. He's too good. This is a true army battle now, right now. Oh, sucks to be that unit. <laughs> God, I love Ridley's unit. It's so amazing. Definitely want to keep an eye on Ridley's unit. I'm going to heal, hopefully heal a couple of my party members right now so they don't die. That's part of the reason why I have Ryu up in there. For the healing. Oh, sucks to be that unit. <laughs> George finally got some action and it was game over for you, bro. Shouldn't even have done that. Oh, so beautiful. Oh, Gerudo, how fucked you are now. I'm not sure what the, the conditions for victory in this battle are, though. I'm, I know Uber runs away. That's the only one I remember. I th I'm thinking if you defeat Joey, you automatically win. But what happens when you defeat Gerudo? Do you automatically win? I hope so. That would be hilarious. Anyway, um, I don't really want Mages to get jumped here from behind. Maybe I should bomb. Is this Colgan? No, it's, that's his lackey. Let's go ahead and bomb on Colgan's lackey over here so he doesn't sneak up on us. Yeah, eat my arrows, bitch. Finally made yourself useful, Ada. And we'll have Magus just stay. Wait, can. How? Uh, no, let's move him closer. I'm not going to take away his shield right now. I want him to attack Gerudo Baruto over here. And then I was sa saying I was saving Ada's magic for him, but 
I wanted to see if I could get some damage on this bitch down here. All right, Max, go ahead and do your. Th Wait, who's stronger, Max or Gilbert? Ah, uh, Gilbert's stronger. We'll have Gilbert start it off. If I could get Gilbert out the way, I would let him let let George do the attack. I think I'm gonna go ahead and just go for it and have George attack Gerudo right now. I kind of want to just see what's his rune. Oh, he has a healing. He can heal himself too, so that's even more beautiful. Damn it! I was hoping. George, you're too badass. You're too badass. All right, we'll go ahead and let Max do. What's Max's runes? Uh, he just has heavy armor. That's good. Go, Maximilian. Oh, the Maximilian Knights fail me once again. I have to say, Max's unit is probably one of the most beat down units I've ever used in this game. All right, uh, should I go for it or should I play on the safe side and heal first? I'm a little worried. All right, I'm gonna let the archers do their thing. I'm not worried about the archers. Go, archers. Go, go, go. So I was thinking about healing right away with Ryu, but I think what I'm gonna do first is have people attack. Uh, but Ridley's right in the way. Who can I move out of the way and kind of let Ridley do his thing? You know what I'm gonna do? I don't want Ridley to move back too far. I was gonna use the fire spear. Well, I want to use the fire spear on Uber. Oh, I got it. I got this. Check this. Check this out right here. I'm gonna move Victor up one, Hauser up one. Hauser, you go finish this fool, y'all. Oh, you're dead. You're fucking dead. Oh, what? No. Why would you even scream something out, Gijimu, if you weren't going to kill him? Come on. Whatever. We're going to move him up here. Can he repeal, prepare himself? No, what's this do? Make a unit that finishes turn go again? Oh. All right. Oh, everyone who's already gone? Wait. It works for everyone who's already gone. And then let's go ahead and use our magic, and then we'll use it again. Let's use it on the archer guy who's too far away to hit us back. I think that's how it works. If the archer's too far away to hit you back, he doesn't get to hit you back. I hope that's how it works. Whew, okay, had to, to like breathe in for a second, like, don't work, don't work. All right, let's see if that works how I think it works. I'm gonna use Encourage and see if it... Yes, all the units that just went get to go again. That is beautiful. All right, Hauser, you get a chance to redeem yourself. Go for it. I don't understand what that melee thing, melee things means, but at least it worked that time. Jesus. Good night. Sleep tight magic man all right magic oh is that the only unit i can attack how about from here oh we can hit you oh we can hit joey's unit hell yeah suck on this joey eat my magic betch oh fail it's all right it's expected all right from here we'll go ahead and let let uh, actually Huh, what do I want to do? Oh, actually, I was going to move Flick here. This was my plan, actually, and I, I lost track of what I was planning on doing here. I was going to let Flick go up here and use his Fire Spear on Uber. And I think I'm hitting Seed as well, right? Yeah. Suck on that, Uber. I guess I don't only have to hit Uber once. I was hoping to get Seed and Uber in that. That would have been awesome. And as for Kasumi, I'm thinking I'm going to... Uh, I don't want to do this. I want to put Ryu right here. I guess I'm just going to move Teresa up one and hope that she can kill this guy. Come on, reach Teresa. Show me your moves. No? Oh, well. As long as she didn't take damage, I'm happy with it. Because then I'm going to move Kasumi back a spot. What's hers moves? Okay, she doesn't have anything good. And then move Ryu here and heal. Just so people don't die. I don't really want anyone to die, man. Yeah, see? Beautiful. Beautiful. Everyone's healed. We're good. Sucks to be this the Highland Army. Oh, and as soon as I heal everyone, then Uber goes and owns Flick. God damn it. Don't kill Flick. I still have one more Fire Spear to use, damn it. I don't want him to die before I get to use it. Suck on this. Oh, Jess has evade. I thought for a second that that, that George got his, his critical again. That would have been amazing. Don't even think about archering of Hauser. He'll just throw his sword at you. We got this battle in hand already. I see. I do not foresee me losing this. I think if anyone dies for real in this battle, it might fuck up your good ending. So make sure nobody dies in this battle. So make sure you have a save before it. If you don't, you're stupid. I'm trying to think because, I mean, I'm getting lucky right now, but there's always a chance that you lose somebody in this battle. More enemies have appeared at this rate. I anticipated this. Time to give our own signal. Oh yeah, reinforcements, baby! It's time, attack! But who's running those armies? I wonder. Go, go! What? 
Reinforcements? We've been outmaneuvered. But we could still save our troops if we order Colgan to pull back before he's surrounded. Then we'll have all the forces retreat. All out forces retreat. That's the signal. Retreat! Awesome. Okay, that's the... I, you know, I completely forgot about that part. I knew the, that part happened eventually, but I didn't remember when or where. Cool. This part's actually pretty funny. Check it out. It looks like they're retreating. But whose army was that? What the fuck? What's Barbara doing here? Was that good enough, Mr. Shu? <laughs> Excellent. Barbara and... And Leona? What? So the army was Barbara and Leona? You're working this too hard, Shu, to make us come all this way. I apologize, but you did perform admirably. Your task is done, so please return to the castle. It looks like Alex and Hilda were here too? What? I was a little scared, but it was quite fun too. Pah! There's nothing to be scared of with me around. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Victor's like, yeah, mm -hmm, uh, yeah, whatever. Lord Ryu, we should also return to Green Hill to rest up for the next round. Indeed. Here's Highland thought they had a chance, but they ain't had no chances. Mm mm, mm mm. Lord Ryu, we've been waiting for you. Well then. I wonder how Kiba's army fared over there at uh, the, the Victor's Fortress. Ah, sorry, I had to get a drink of soda there. I will now explain our strategy for taking Rockax Castle. Lords Ridley, Hauser, and Teresa will assemble the armies and deploy immediately. When the army, when the enemy appears, I want you to do your best to lure them away from Rockax Castle. Yes, sir. Hmm. When the enemy takes the bait, Lord Ryu will covertly lead a small army into Rockax Castle. Rockax. What do you mean covertly? During our last battle, some of the former Matilda Knights entered the castle posing as Ger Gerudo's men. On our signal, they will open the gates to let you in. And then? And then? And then? Lord Ryu will enter the castle, ascend to the top floor, and burn down the enemy flag, and replace it with one of ours. What's that point of the burning down one flag? The Highland army has overextended themselves. They have taken the knight by force, but their control was over there when this war is weak. They'll think the castle has fallen and the knights will give up. The tide of the battle will then turn in our direction. If we fail, then Ridley, Hauser, and Teresa will have nowhere to run and their armies will be slaughtered. The rest of the G-Force army will fall shortly thereafter. Lord Ryu, everything is riding on you. Select the party members to join in your invasion of Rockaxe Castle. Of course you'll take me, right? Uh, too dangerous. Not taking you. No, no, no way. That's a lie. No, dude. It's too dangerous. I'm telling you. I can't believe you said that. Now listen to your big sister. Dude, I'm telling you. It's too dangerous, BZ. There's no way I'm letting you go alone. I'll follow you no matter what, because I have to protect you, Ryu. Yep, you have to take Nanami with you, whether you like it or not. And those who've played this game know exactly what's about to happen, and obviously it's unavoidable. Then select the other members. So, this party is going to infiltrate Rock Axe Castle. I guess we don't have another major battle coming up. For some reason, I thought we were gearing up for another major battle. This is the part I was expecting. Pick a party to infiltrate. Burn down the flag. That'll get the the the, 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 um, the knights, the Matilda knights to give up. Anyways, who are we going to bring with us? The battles there really aren't difficult. You're mostly just going to be fighting random battles. There is a boss, but it won't matter who you use for the boss. The boss is not difficult. Who do I want to use? Should we pick people we haven't used? Who haven't we used? Oh my god, we should probably try out mages. He's got plenty of magic. He might prove useful on random battles. Who else, who else haven't we used? I used Simone, didn't I? I was thinking about using Vincent, but if I use Vincent, I should probably use Simone with him. Huh. You know what? Let's go ahead. I'm probably never going to use Vincent otherwise. This is probably as good a time as any. And we'll go ahead and throw Simone in there. Maybe they have a cool Unite attack we can use. Let's see. Is there anybody else that we just got we haven't used? I believe we got Pesmersia. But I'll probably be using Pesmersia in a little while. Um, oh, Genshu. Genshu is actually a good choice. Because I don't think there's going to be a point where I'll use Genshu otherwise. So actually that sounds quite amazing. And he has a Swallow rune. I don't even know what the Swallow rune is or does. Guess we'll find out. Um, yeah, this will this will do. This will do. Uh, let's see. So all my short range people in the front. Oh no, wait. Mazes is a magic guy. Put him in the back. Um, yeah, that'll do. How do I want to set this up? Let's put the weakest person, the person I want attacked the least, behind Ryu. 
And Anami can go behind Genshu. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Yep, this is going to be fun. Lord Ryu, are you ready to go? Now, I believe if you say, wait a minute, you can go do whatever you want to do right now. If there's any recruits you're still missing, I think you could still go get them. Don't quote me on that, because I'm not missing anyone. But I'm thinking if you're following me at all, you probably already have everyone. And if you don't, what the hell were you doing? Okay, let's go. Then let's get going. Let's get going indeed. Tcha, persistent bastards. But if we... If we can get them to overextend themselves now, we can take them easily next time. Why can't I ca read? Like, it's so tongue twistery. Okay, let's go. Hurry up, Matilda Knights. <laughs> you got mixed in there with the Highland Army. You got Matilda Knights. Ha ha, sneaked right by him. All right, give the signal. Yeah, buddy. We got infiltrators opening it up for me. Okay, you guys head in there and do your best to avoid detection. Yes, sir. And they're in. Let's do this. Lord Ryu, there isn't much time left. If the enemy returns before the flag is destroyed, the G4 army's fate is sealed. We'll follow when the, it's safe. Lord Ryu, but please find the flag as quickly as possible. We know, we know already. It'll be fine, okay? After all, Nanami's on the job, right? Let's go. Move it, move it. So it's time to play a high-stakes version of Capture the Flag. A message from General Kiba. Uh-oh. Read it. Y yes, sir. After arriving at the fort, General and Kiba, General Kiba engaged in combat with Leon Silver, and we don't get to hear the rest of that story for a while. But just know it ain't good. Oh wait. Oh, we tell this now? Oh, I thought they told this later. My bad. Okay, we get to hear it now. Stand your ground. Don't flinch. Every minute we hold out brings us closer to a victory for Lord Ryu, a victory for the GeForce Army. Indeed. Let's do this. During the battle, both Silverberg and General Kiba were mortally wounded. So they both died? I see. Father. Father. Is that is that all we get to hear from that? I, I swear, I didn't remember getting to hear that right then. I thought we heard that later. Alright, so here we are. We'll lure away the enemy's front line. That's, our ch that's your chance to go. Be careful. We haven't been to Rock X for a while, but now we get to actually go to an area of Rock X we haven't been to before. Uh, I don't know if you want to call this the catacombs, but... It's kind of like the back door into the castle, pretty much. So, we're underground. This will be the bulk of what we fight here. We're going to fight M Knights, which are Matilda Knights. And we're also going to be fighting Highland Soldiers. And that's pretty much the bulk of what we're going to fight when we walk through here. I think there's a few other enemies. Anyways, I'm going to show you at least Mazes, Mazes doing some rune stuff. And I'll probably try and show off Simone and Vincent's Unite Attack, which I'm pretty damn sure they have one. I don't see why they wouldn't. They're like best friends forever, literally. This is a fantastic place to level up and get money as well, if it wasn't obvious already. And here's a perfect opportunity to start using some stuff. The Narcissus attacked. 0.5 damage to all enemies. Let's see it. Perfect kind of thing to use on all. Sudden death, 30%. Ruins balance. It only attacks one enemy. I'll save it for later. Uh, Ryu attack. Nanami, go ahead and do your thing. And Mazes. Ooh, he does have Blue Gate. He has the third of the Blue Gate runes in the game. You pick up one early in the game, which I put on Luke. I got one for beating Lucia earlier, and then the third one, Mazes, comes equipped with it. So there's three Blue Gate runes in the game, if I didn't already explain that before. And holy crap, he has level 5 magic, Blazing Camp. Look at this, 2,000. I think him and maybe Luke are the only two that have this, or maybe only him. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm not going to use that right now. That's just too overpowered for this random battle. Um, let's stop thinking about it and just use a damn Pale Palace already. That'll mop up pretty much anything that lives after the first two turns here. First few attacks here. Ryu's going to kill his because he's too good. I don't even think we're going to get to see the, the Unite attack. I might have to lay off on the magic to see all the attacks I want to show off. Oh, well. If I kill them all with this, I'll show Unite attack in the next one. I will show it. It's not going to not happen. Yeah, I figured that was going to happen. That's okay. We're going to fight plenty more enemies. It's all good, baby. It's all good. And yes, this is pretty much a dungeon, so you are going to find treasures. I was just about to say it when we ran into our first one. Immediately goes on Ryu. Stone of Speed. There are actually quite a bit of treasures in here, so try not to miss them. I do think you can come back here later, even if you don't get all the treasures now. So it's okay if you miss one. But just... You know, no one likes to backtrack through dungeons, so try to get everything. This is the other kind of enemy you'll run into, the Hippogriffs. 
I think there might be one other one. The Hippogriffs, the, Ma the Matilda Knights, the Highland Soldiers, and I think there might be one more other enemy in here. Yes, I know, Unite Attack, I will show it. I will show it. I don't cut battles, you guys already know this, so it's okay. And we are closing in on 30 minutes already, so there's no way in hell we're going to finish this dungeon in this episode. It is kind of a long trek to get through this entire castle. It's okay. Jeez, and the encounter rate is ridiculous right now. Alright, one thing I want to mention right now, Highland Soldiers, they do drop a recipe. This is, will be the last enemy drop recipe in the game if you don't already have them all. Um, yeah, so if you were smart, I don't know if I explained this early on in the game, but if you've been giving all your recipes to Hi-Yo along the game, uh, you may have fucked this up. Anyway, that there there was the narcissist attack, uh, unite attack. It's basically kind of like Joey and Ryu's uh, friend attack in the beginning of the game, but not quite as strong. My point was though about the recipes. If you've given your all your recipes to Hi-Yo up to this point, even the ones you got from enemy drops, then you may have fucked this up because there's some kind of weird glitch that can happen where you can't actually get all the recipes. Point is, I haven't been giving the recipes I've been getting from enemy drops to Hi-Yo to do uh, cooking battles and stuff. The reason for that is because there's some weird glitch that when you give him a certain recipe that one of the enemies drops, it, f it like messes up the programming of the game and makes it so certain enemies won't drop all the recipes that you want and so you won't get all the recipes in the game. Point is, I haven't been doing that so as to avoid n not being able to get all the recipes. And the fact that I got the recipe drop from the yellow do re mi elf in Green Hill uh, I guess that was two episodes ago now, or maybe three. The fact that I got that recipe, recipe 34, means I'm pretty lucky. And as soon as I get the recipe drop from here, we'll be well on our way to getting all the recipes in the game. Because the rest will just be talking to people and a couple rare finds, and then we'll be done. But we'll get to recipes on, on in good time. For now, we need to focus more on the task at hand, capturing the flag, so to speak. Man, the encounter rate is ridiculous right now. Why is it so high? I don't get it. It's not like I'm underleveled. I mean, a couple characters were, but not everybody. Not everyone was underleveled. Just like Simone. I guess Genshu, maybe. No, Mason and Genshu came pretty high level already. They were already both right at level 50 or 49 when I got them. I gotta say, I don't think I've ever used Genshu for more than like a battle just to look what he looks like. And same with Vincent. Those are two characters I don't particularly try out. And until my, until I started learning how to use Luke, I never really used, used Mazes too much either. I mean, I tried Mazes out when I first learned about him and got him and all that, but I didn't, like, I took him to the end of the game a couple times because of how much magic he had, but then I realized Luke is almost a better option, if not, if, if not an equal option. Luke is kind of faster than Mazes, I think. You want to put this on Ryu. I also got a Crimson Cape, which is pretty good. Put that over my Cape of Darkness. Yes, we're going to do a little bit of equipment rotation here. Let's go ahead and give Genshu just something to give him some more defense. He is in the front row. Your front row people got to have some defense. Keep them from dying a lot. I think the specific Highland Soldier that drops the recipe is actually the Archer. And we are not fighting any Archers, which is kind of disappointing right now. I think it's the Archer. I could be mistaken on that as well. I'm not 100% sure on that. I guess we'll just keep fighting every battle and hope for the best. Hope that the recipe pops up. I'm probably... If I don't get it in the LP, I'm pretty sure you can come back inside of here any time later. So don't worry that if you don't get it during this infiltration part, that you'll be without the recipe forever. I think what I'll probably do is end the episode here in a moment, though. In fact, this is probably as good place as any. We're already about to hit the 30-minute mark anyways. So yeah, right here is a good spot. So next time on Let's Play Sukaden 2... We get to the flag and burn that bitch down, but will the will the uh, Matilda Knights give up after we do that? And in between episodes, I probably will get the recipe. I'm just gonna fight around here until they get it to give it to me. It'll it'll make it so I don't have to come back and do that later. So, anyways, see you guys next time. Peace.